of the dead, praise God. Hell, praise God. Hallelujah. God. Praise Hell, praise God. Both of them are buried. Now, we know when they buried, we, we die. Praise God. They make arrangements for us. Praise God. They they prepare they prepare us for death. So hell is a prepared place. It's a prepared place. Just like heaven is a prepared place. It's a prepared hell place. Hell is prepared. Yes. For the for the ungodly. For the ungodly. For the rebellious. For the rebellious. For the ones that reject Jesus. For the one that reject. For the ones that do not do His commandments. Do not follow hell His commandments. Is hell is prepared for you. It's a place of a buried. Praise Jesus. God. Hallelujah. We ain't gonna go, go through all that, but. There in that place of dead. There in torment he saw Abraham. Praise God. In torment he saw him. So he's trying to warn you that this place torment, praise God. Yes. On this earth, praise God, we, we go through torment, but not like this. My God. Praise God. Our feelings may get hurt by people, praise God. You know, we, we, we may get on earth, praise God. God even made a plan for everything. People get sick, people get diseases, and all kind of things, but God has gave us, praise God, the, the healing power and authority power and stuff in this earth, praise God. Hallelujah. He, matter of fact, he wants us to escape this place. He Psalms 9 and 17. It says, the wicked will go down to the grave. Uh -huh. The wicked will go down to the grave. This is the fate. This is the fate of all the nations who ignore God. All the people who ignore God, you going down to the grave in the place of the dead, in the place of hell. If you ignore God, if you ignore his soul, if you ignore his instructions, if you ignore his ways and his commandments, praise God. He said, this is your fate. My God. This is no mistake. This is your fate, praise God. Reality will soon, praise God, show up in our lives, praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Proverbs 15, 24. He said the path of life leads upward unto the wise. They lead, they lead the grave behind, praise God. They lead the grave behind. They exit, praise God. You exit even into eternal life or even eternal damnation, praise God. They bury these bodies, praise God. But those spirits are not them. Those spirits are gone. Jesus. Praise God. When we die, praise God, they take that body and they go prepare, praise God, for, for burial. But that spirit is already gone. That spirit way ahead of you. Way ahead. That spirit way ahead of us, praise God. Mm -hmm. The body can be left here days mm -hmm. on earth. But the spirit them exit immediately, praise God, in, in, in the transition. Yes. The heaven or either hell, praise God. The Abraham, I mean the Lazarus and the rich man, they exit them bodies quickly, praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. But them bodies were still here on earth, praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. They leave the grave, praise God, behind. And they enter the realm of the dead. Mm. It's a realm. It's a realm, praise God. It's a, it's a dimension, praise God. It's a place, praise God, function just like earth. Yes, it is. Praise God. It's real, praise God. So that's why Bob, that's why he said the love of Jesus. I remember when God called me in the ministry. He said, go tell the people about the love of Jesus. This is the love of Jesus. Yes. The world people's about this place. The world people's about hell. He said, go tell the people about the love of Jesus. This is the love of Jesus. That he loved you so much, praise God. He don't want you to go there. He didn't prepare this place for you. No, he did not. He prepared it for the devil and his angels, praise God. The ones that tried to overthrow his throne. That's who he prepared that for. Mm. Hallelujah, praise God. John 5, 28. What is he that? said, don't be so surprised. Indeed, the time is coming when all the dead in their graves will hear the voice of God's son. He says, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised at this, praise God. Well, all it's the time is coming when all the dead in their graves will hear the voice of God's son. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Now the ten virgins, praise God, they heard the bridegroom call out to them. Yeah. Praise God. They didn't die. Uh -uh. But they heard the bridegroom call out to them, praise God. Uh -huh. Go out and meet the bridegroom, uh -huh. praise God. Uh -huh. So when it's preparation and everything. We got to prepare. Yes. We have to prepare. We have to be prepared, praise God. Jesus. They out, go out. 
Praise God. They had to prepare themselves to go out to meet the bridegroom. It was five wise, five foolish, praise God. And the five wise, pray, they prepared. Yes, they did. They had everything they needed. They had the, all the oil that they needed, praise God. They stored God. the oil. They stored the oil. All the years yes. of their life, they stored up that oil. They stored the oil. And they didn't let anything take that oil from take them. Take that sap it. So take it, it away. They didn't let the, 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 the attraction, mm. they didn't let the influence yes. of the world steal that oil. Hallelujah. They didn't let that happen. There's things everywhere in this world that influence The influence of the, that's why the Lord said, come out from the among steel. them. And that's right. Come out of the world. Come out of what? The world. Mm. He said, come out of the world. Come out of the world. He said, because the world is going to influence you in some way or another. another. It's going to influence you. Praise he said, so if you come, you come out of the world, that's going to preserve the oil. Praise God. It had us. It had us. The world had us. The world had me, praise yeah. God. The world influenced me, praise yes, God. Did. The world influenced you, praise God. But thank God, praise God, the death, burial, and resurrection, praise God. And the things he came and the things he preached and the things he taught the disciples, praise God. Our friends, praise our new friends now. We cut the world loose now. Paul, James, Peter, Matthew, praise God. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, praise God. Uh -huh. Then my new friends. Those are friends. And they warn us. They and warn they tell us. us, praise uh -huh. God, about this this devastated place, praise God. Uh -huh. Don't come. They don't come. See, they warned us. Praise God. About the influence. The influence. That the, the pull that the, the world mm, would have on us. Hallelujah. And they warned us about it. They say, don't come out of there. Come out of there. Come out of the world. And who did they get it from? Praise God. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus told them. Jesus warned them. He praise warned God. them and told them, say, the Hallelujah. world will influence you praise to do God. the wicked things that they do. Hallelujah. Jesus, when My he walked this earth, praise God. He was Instagram. When he walked these world, he was Facebook. Oh he God. was Twitter, praise God. Uh -huh. He was YouTube when he walked this earth praise God uh -huh. hallelujah all that was in him praise God Jesus. hallelujah praise God thank you Lord Jesus hey. and 529 he said and they will listen those that rise praise God hallelujah and they will rise again those who have done good oh, will arise to the experience to experience eternal life. Uh -huh. Praise God. Those who have done good. Those who have followed the instructions. Those who have followed the commandment. Praise God. Those who can follow the law of God. Praise God. He said they will experience eternal life. Eternal life. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And those who have continued in evil. And continued in their own way. And continue in their own design. Will rise to experience judgment in hell. And damnation praise God. Judgment hell. And damnation, and damnation. praise God. In a book that we're reading. Mm. It talks about the gateway. Mm. And this is what the, 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 the person saw. He said as I stood near that enormous pit of fire. No immediate attacker seemed to be threatening. So this gave me a moment to take in my surrounding. It was raining fire and burning rock, mm. similar to the way lava falls from the sky mm. when a volcano explodes. Mm. The smoke from the flames was very thick, allowing visibil visibility for only a short distance. Mm. But what I could see was horrifying. Mm. I saw many people reaching out of the pit of fire, desperately trying to claw their way oh, out, geez. but there was no escape. I turned my head mm. and I noticed I was standing in the middle of a cave. Mm. The wall wrapped around me and led me to a vast expanse of the pit. As I looked at the walls, I saw that there were co they were covered with thousands of hideous creatures. <coughs> These mm. demonic creatures were all sizes and shapes. Some of them had four legs and were the size of bears. Mm. Others stood upright and oh, were the geez. size of gorillas. They were all terribly grotesque and disfigured. Mm. It looked as Shut though their flesh had been decomposing mm. and all their limbs were twisted out mm. of proportion. Mm. Some displayed immense mm. long arms oh. or abnormally large feet. They seemed to, they seemed to me to mm. be the living dead. Mm. There were also gigantic rats, mm. huge spiders, mm. at least three feet wide. Two of the three feet, two or three feet wide. I also saw snakes mm. and worms ranging from small to enormous, e enormously large. I was petrified 
and could not believe my eyes. Mm. My gaze followed the beast up the side of the wall, and I saw that there was a hole in the top of the cave. It was the entrance. It was the entrance to an upward tunnel, mm. tunnel approximately 35 feet in diameter. Mm. The fiendish creatures lined the tunnel was all well. The fiendish creatures that lined the tunnel was well. They were distinctly wicked. Mm. Their eyes were cauldrons of evil and death. Everything was filthy, stinking, rotting, and foul. Oh, there was one other dis distinguishing aspect about mm. these creatures. They all seemed to possess a hatred a for hatred. mankind. Mm. They all seemed to possess a hatred for... They were the evil. They were the epitome of evil. He said the creatures seemed to be chained or mm. attached in some fashion to the cavern walls. He said, I was relieved to know that they could not reach me. Oh, Jesus. Hell is not a place mm. for us. Hell oh, is Jesus. not a place. He goes on to say, suddenly I began, I began ascending through the tunnel. Mm. I didn't know how I was able to ascend or why. At first, I rolled slowly. And as I went higher, I could view the vast wasteland of hell. I could now see more of the enormous pit, mm. which looked to me as much as a mile across. However, this was just a fraction of hell space mm. to the right of the large inferno were thousands of small pits. Mm. And as far as I could see, each pit was no more than three to five feet across and four to five feet deep. Mm. Each pit holding a single soul. Oh, wow. Now this man saw the same thing mm. that Mary Kay Baxter saw. Mm. He saw the same thing that she saw. Wow. Pits. People pits. are in pits. Cave. Burning. They burning in pits because they rejected the commandment of God. They reject, They rejected the warnings of the Lord. They rejected mm. Jesus and they are in pits. Oh my God. Mm. Why you Why you think God allowed them to see this? Yes. In order for them to come to back, come back and, and warn us. us about this place. About this place. Just like people see visions of heaven. That's right. Just like people see visions of angels. Right. Just like that is the same way they see visions of hell. This they ministry. This they is go around ministry. the world yes. teaching, telling people about this awful place. Mm. About this awful don't come. Don't come. And they describing what they saw while they was there. He further goes on go to ahead. say. Suddenly, uh, he further goes on to say, to the right of the large inferno were thousands of small pits as far as I could see. Each pit no more than three to five feet uh, across and five feet deep. Each pit holding a single soul. Psalm 94, 13 refers to these pits by saying, until the pit is dug for the wicked. As I ascended into the darkness, the fear of those horrific beasts was all encompassing. Mm. I thought, who could fight off just one of these creatures? creatures. No one could. Many were so many were so massive and strong. For instance, I rem I remember a certain person my wife and I would see at the gym, our gym. He, we didn't know him, but he looked we looked upon him with amazement because he was so big, powerfully built and strong. I thought even he would be no match for the demon. Mm, no Continuing match. up, it seemed as if about 30 seconds had passed when suddenly a burst of light invaded the entire tunnel. The light was so bright, a pure white light like I had never seen. I was so It was so bright, I could not see the face of the one who was before me. But instantly, I knew he was. I knew who he was. I said, Jesus. Mm. And he said, I am. Shot to and you. I fell at his feet. It was as if I had died. It seemed as if only a few moments had passed when I regained my awareness. I was still at his feet. Mm. As I said, I didn't see his face. I saw only the outline of a man standing in light Praise that was so God. pure, bright, and for the lack of a better word, clean. There really are no words to adequately describe mm. what it was like to be in his presence. He's saying to mm, us, the Jesus. Lord came down into the pit. 
because this man was a Christian. He was living right. Mm. He didn't understand why he had gone to hell. Mm. And so the Lord told him, go back and tell my people oh, that Jesus. hell is real. Go back and tell my people that hell is a dimension. Go back and tell my people that I didn't make hell for them. Mm. But if you reject the commandments, if you live a lukewarm life, if you live in carnality, if you live according to the standards of the world, mm. if you reject Jesus, this will be your end. Mm. And that's just portions of his Just a portion of what all he kind of stuff in this book. That he saw. <clears throat> but you're going to read some more. Yeah, go ahead. Praise baby. God. We'll praise God. Experience will, will rise to experience a judgment. Just what you've been reading. Uh -huh. Damnation, praise God. The third verse in John 5 30. He said, I can do nothing on my own. This is Jesus. He said, I can do nothing on my own. I judge as God tells me. So, so it's not Jesus. Uh -huh. It's just the Father uh -huh. giving Jesus instructions, praise yes. God. Yes. And he carries them out, praise God. Right. He said, therefore, my judgment is just. Yes. He said, the stuff I'm telling you, the things I'm telling you in the word of God from Genesis to Revelation uh -huh. is just. It's just. It's pure. It's pure. Because I carry out the will of the one who sent me. Yes. He said, because I'm carrying out the will of the one that sent me. And the one that sent me is my father, praise God. Yes. Not my own will. Mm -hmm. It's not my own will. It's my father will, praise God. Mm -hmm. He want me to warn you of this place, praise God. That's why these people had these experiences, praise yes. God. That I took them off into hell, praise uh -huh, God. Uh -huh. And I showed them, praise God. Now these people come back, praise God. And these people that wrote books, praise God. That travel all over the world, praise God. Uh -huh. And these people, they, 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 they experience, praise God. Many people have got saved behind these people's yes. experience. Because yes. hell is it's real. It's, yeah, a it's a reality, praise God. And God warning us through the people, yes. praise God. Uh -huh. Through the through the word of God uh -huh. and through the people that He allowed, that He took the hell and brought them back, praise God, in order for them to have that experience and detail it in books. This is what he said. What he said. He said, as soon as he appeared, Jesus, mm. he restored my awareness to my mind that I am a Christian. Mm. He was a Christian, but he was there to report what report. he said. Uh huh. He said, I will explain the reason shortly. He said, peace had replaced terror mm. and safety took, play, took the place of danger. danger. The feelings of worthlessness, shame, humiliation disappeared mm. as the value that he had placed on me was revealed. Mm. So the Lord was showing him, we ain't trying to scare nobody. We Amen. ain't trying to scare you into to serving Nothing. God because it, 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 you can't be scared into serving the Lord. Praise we, but, nope. but what we are trying to do is we're trying to warn you that hell is a real place. Praise hell God. is a place. It's in the, If you can remember, in this book, he talks about, he gave a, like a metaphor. And he said, the Lord was so gracious in the way that he done things. He said, go and look at a volcano. Pull up a volcano. Take mm. a volcano and look at the lava. Mm. Look at the way that that volcano mm. is erupting. And so, Praise you know, God. I was looking at it and I was looking at it last night. Mm. And um, uh, I was looking at the, the lava of a volcano. Um, and uh, as I was looking at the lava of a volcano, it show, it, it, the lava has sulfur in it. It has a stench in it. And mm. you can't get so close, as I was doing the research, you can't get mm. so close to the <laughs> volcano um, because of the toxic sulfur. So the Lord is showing us in, in the natural realm what it looked like in hell. Pull up a picture. I'm going to try to pull up a picture of mm. a volcano, Praise of an God. erupting volcano um, 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 and show you what it looked like. Oh my God. Jesus. Mm. Uh huh. This is what it looked like if you can see it. See that? See the hot lava. That's what it looked mm. like in the natural realm. In the spiritual realm, mm. God is showing us, you don't want to go here. You don't want to go to a place that has lava like that. Mm. Oh, we don't, we don't know who that man is, but he showed up. Uh, so, but, uh, so uh, he's, but warning it, he's warning us. Here it's showing you. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the volcano. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. That's what he, he's showing us a picture on the earth. That hot lava is like, the, this is going to mm. be like the lake of fire. It is unbelievable. I ain't going there. I'm not going to let nobody take me Praise there. Praise God. These are the warnings. These are the warnings that God is showing us about Praise these uh, volcanoes.
And uh, so when he gave the metaphor of yes. the, volca of the volca volcano, mm. I went and looked at it. Mm. Yes. He said, my gaze mm. followed the beast up the sides of the wall. And I saw that there was a hole in the top of the cave. It was an entrance to an upward tunnel approximately 30 feet in diameter. Mm. He said, the fiendish creatures lined the tunnel walls wow. as well. They were distinctly wicked. Mm. It was amazing. Distinctly wicked. Distinctly wicked. Jesus. Praise God. These are the things, these spirits, praise God, they're attacking us every single day. That these are the spirits. These are the spirits that are attacking us every single Causing day, us praise to God. Hold on to Cause us when we sleep. Yes. Praise God. These spirits are attacking, attacking us throughout the, the day. They're attacking us Jesus. on our job. They're attacking us, praise yes. God. They're attacking, they're invading our mind. Jesus. Our soul and our spirit, praise uh -huh. God. They do they got what they, what the Bible says. The thief come to do three things. Steal, the only three things. Still kill and destroy. Still kill and destroy. Them the only three things he come to do, praise God. Hallelujah. So why would we serve? I don't know why I serve something. I don't know why I follow something that wants to kill, steal, and destroy me. Yes. Praise God. That come out. That's what I was outside the will of God. If you outside the will of God, whether you confess it or not, you serving Satan. You serving the devil. Mm-hmm. Praise God. If you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, if God trying to warn us of this place, praise God. Uh -huh. Because the Bible says in, in uh, uh, Hebrews 9, 27. What did it say? He said, and, it, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Yes. He says it's appointed, so we're going to die. You're going to die. It's, you got an appointed time that you're going to die My if God. you don't make the rapture. Jesus. Praise God. But... Otherwise, you got an appointed time that you're going to leave here, praise God. And he's trying to warn you in this place. Yes. He said, it's appointed for us, man, to die. We're going to die. He said, after that judgment, after that, praise God, it's going to be based on what we did when we lived in this earth. So this is the dress rehearsal. This is the dress rehearsal. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. We're getting prepared. We're getting prepared. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. We're getting prepared. We're getting prepared, you praise God. You're for one place Hallelujah. or the other because there's no other, there's no other, other it's place. It's only two places. Go. Heaven. I uh have, -huh. and we get prepared. We get prepared. It's a prepared place. It's a prepared. You prepare for heaven, and you prepare for hell. Jesus, praise God. It's two places, only two places. Matthew, uh, Matthew twenty-eight. Praise God in nineteen. It said, therefore, I'm gonna read eighteen. Jesus came and told the disciples, "I have been given all authority in heaven uh -huh. and on earth." Praise God. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, uh -oh. baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commandments I give. I have given you, and be sure of this, and be sure of this. I am with you always, even until the end of the age. Mm -hmm. He said, "Go and make sure. Teach them. Teach them all the commandments I've given you. Why?" The warn them of this place. Yes. The warn them of hell, praise God. My God. Of hell, praise God. Uh -huh. We don't teach about hell. We don't say nothing about hell enough. We need to talk about hell all the time. Yes. The praise people. God. We need we need to warn people. Yes. Warn people, praise God. You oh my shot take care. Leave my cocoa. Leave shot. On the journey in the, in the book, he said in his journey, he said, mm. as I y'all listen to this now. <laughs> yes. He said. As I lay there on the floor mm. of the cell, he had descended into hell. Mm. This was a vision. He didn't die. He right. just he descended into hell. As I lay there on the floor of that cell, I felt extremely weak. I noticed that I had a body, one that appeared just as it was is now. Mm. Lifting my head, I began to look around. Immediately, I realized that I was not alone in the cell. I saw not two alone. enormous beasts. Unlike anything I had ever seen before, these creatures were approximately 10 to 13 feet tall. Mm. These towering beasts were far, Inhale. far beyond intimidating. It is one thing to be threatened by someone much taller than you, but these creatures were not of this natural world. I recognized that they were entirely evil mm. and they were gazing at me with pure unrestrained hatred, mm. which completely paralyzed me with fear. With fear. Evil and terror, and terror stood before me. Those creatures were immensely concentrated, were 
an intensely concentrated manifestation of these two forces. And he said, I still had no idea where I was and I felt utterly mm. panicked. Although I had no point of reference, no familiarity with anything I was experiencing and no understanding of how I got there. Still, I was faced with the unimaginable reality mm. that a torturous death seemed certain. The mm. creatures weren't animals, but they weren't human either. Each giant beast resembled a reptile in appearance, mm. but took my human, but took on a human form. The beast's arms and legs were equal to in length, out of proportion, without symmetry. The first one had bumps and scales all over its grotesque body. It had a huge protruding jaw, gigantic teeth, and large sunken in eyes. Mm. I've seen these spirits. Wow. I've seen these spirits mm. in, 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 in the spiritual realm. I've seen them. Mm. I've smelled them. Hallelujah. I smell the stench of them. Horrible. They are grotesque. There is a veil covering us from the realm of the spirit to the natural realm. Praise God. These demons are there to torture and torment us. Mm. They do that on the earth. So why would you serve Satan when he torment you on the earth? Why would you indulge in the things that he offer you? Why mm. would you indulge in the things that the world have to offer? Mm. Why would you drink of that cup? Mm. When the enemy is only trying to destroy your soul in mm, hell. In hell. If the Lord said to us, leave that stuff behind. Leave hatred, bitterness, unforgiveness, the things of this world, uh, immorality, mm. uh, all of these things. Steve and e and Adam. All of these things behind. If he's telling us that, it's a reason for it. Mm. Oh my, there's different compartments in hell. I'm going to go to the other book and show you the different compartments in hell. Oh there's different degrees in hell. Mm. Oh, you don't think it's different degrees it's in just, hell? You know why there's different degrees in hell? Because the spirit world, the natural world, is patterned off after the spiritual world. Right. So whatever happens in the natural realm, that's already in the realm of the spirit. Everything in the natural world came from the realm of the spirit. So we have jails here. We have Praise jails. God. We have prisons here. All right. A murderer is not in the same cell mm. as somebody that steal some 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 chewing gum. Praise God. There's a different level of punishment for the man that murders ten people, mm. or for the man that 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 do um, uh, 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 take some bubble gum. Yeah. There's different degrees of of suffering in hell. Mm. It's not the same. Not Just the same. like there's different degrees of suffering on this earth. Praise if God. you if you break the law in the natural. You going to the you going to, to to jail. If you break a, the law really bad, you going to prison, state prison. That's what we, that's God. where you're gonna go. You don't want to go there, Jesus. Praise God. Go they, ahead. They separated. Mm. Praise God. Matthew twenty four thirty six. What is saying? He said, uh, first of all, he said, God, listen, God is sounding the alarm just like in the days of Noah. Whoa. God is sounding the alarm just like in the days of Noah. He Noah sounded. Noah preached and talked about the flood was coming. Praise God. Nobody paid attention to him. My God. Nobody paid attention to him just like the day. Praise God. Matthew 24, 30. However, no one knows the day or hour when these things will happen. Who said that? Jesus. Jesus said that. No one knows the My day God. or hour when these it. things will happen. Come on, Lord. No one knows. Come on, Jesus. No one, no prophet knew it. No, no prophet, Jesus. no apostle, no evangelist, no teacher, no pastor. No one knows the day or hour when these things will happen. Jesus. Not even the angels in heaven. Jesus. Oh, uh, not even the angels in heaven. Ah, uh, the Son Himself. Only the Father, praise God. We know Jesus didn't know it. Because if Jesus would have known it, he would have told it. Because he told everything the father told him. That was the one thing that the father didn't tell him. My God. When this was going to happen. When this was going to occur. Praise God. Because he said. Praise God. I didn't come on my own will. I come and I'm telling you what the father told me. I'm telling you what the father put in my spirit. What the father put in my mouth. is If, if Jesus, the father would have told Jesus. He definitely would have told him. He'd have told it. That's why he ain't tell it. He ain't tell it. Because he told us. Because he'd have told it. He'd have told us. Praise God. My Father, God. pray. Matthew 37, verse 6. And when the Son of Man returned, it would be like it was in the days of Noah. 
in the days of no they'll be married. They'll be married. Giving in marriage, mm -hmm. doing their own thing, right? Partying. The third eight verse says yeah. that. Do he it. said Matthew third eight said here. in those days before uh -huh. the flood, yeah. the people were enjoying banquets. Oh. And parties. Oh. And weddings. Oh. Right up to the time. That, so we'll be doing all this stuff right up to the time that Jesus come at you. Yeah. Praise God. Or when, when the rapture take place. Jesus. Either you're going to be here until the rapture take place or you're going to exit this body, praise God. And he said you're going to do it right up until that time. Yes. What time? To the time that God called you for your last breath or the time the rapture take place. He said, this is what they were doing in the days of Noah, praise God. Uh -huh. They looked at Noah, talked about Noah, picked at him, and called him a fool, he's stupid, and all this and stuff. The people were enjoying what? Banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time Noah entered his boat. 39 verse, and people didn't realize what was going to happen until the flood came. Wow. 